The Eisenhower Matrix is a productivity tool that helps individuals prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. It's named after the US President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who was known for his ability to manage his time effectively. The matrix consists of four quadrants. We've got important, urgent, important, not urgent, not important, urgent, not important, not urgent. By using the matrix, individuals can identify which tasks they should focus on and which can be postponed or delegated. It can help people manage their time more effectively and reduce stress by ensuring that they are focusing on the most important tasks. So let's go through this uh, dashboard. It's free to download. It's in the description. Uh, it's completely free. So I've designed it to be as easy as possible to use uh, and I'll show you how it works. So you have these four boxes here, do now, designate for later, uh, or designate a time to do it, delegate to someone else or automate it, and then delete, just don't do it. If it's not important and not urgent, uh, when, why do it? Um, so if you click on these, then you can actually see just, so for this one, important, urgent, you can just see the stuff that's important and urgent. So when you sit down in the morning to do a task, you think, I should do the important urgent tasks first. So you can see that all here. The important not urgent, you can see them in here. So you're only going to be seeing tasks here that should be you know, scheduled for later or have a time that you're going to do them. Speaking of, down here, we have the same tasks. So these are all connected. It's actually the same database, uh, just shown in different views. Here you can see when you want to do them. And I've made a simple system where once you complete a task, so say if you've completed this one, you hit tick and then it gets removed from this view, but you can see it here in this view instead, uh, all the tasks that have been ticked off. So when you're working, all you do is you're looking at this calendar with all the tasks that you have to do. People who are sub to this channel, they know I always say your day is your to-do list. So this is how you're going to be assessing what you have to do. So say if we got a new task, Let's use the example that I need to film and edit this video. So all I'll do is up here, click on this drop down, and then you can select, is it a do first? Is it a schedule slash, you know, a designate one? Is it a delegate one or is it one to eliminate? This is something that I should, I should do right now. Uh, so I'm going to hit the do first and then these automatically get added, these tags. So when I click away here, this task here already has that. And then I might leave some notes down here for myself. It has to be really good. Then you might actually want to schedule it. So this is pretty important for me to do today. So I'm going to say this is a today job. Or say if I don't want to uh, select it via that way, I just control Z there by the way, then all you can do is simply drag and drop it and look into your calendar and say, you know what, I have time today. Well, I should edit it today. So I can put it there and then it's still going to remain up here. It just has a date added to it. So we can do that with another one. I'll just show you the delegate one. I'm presuming if you're watching this video, you already know what the Eisenhower matrix is, but just to show it's like, you know, you've got four kind of tasks. You've got the ones that are urgent that you have to do right now. Then you've got the ones that you don't have to do right now, but you still have to do them, but they're just not urgent. So uh, you want to designate a time for them. Um, whether you're going to do them, you know, yeah, I'm going to do that on Tuesday. Yep, I'm going to do that this afternoon, uh, but it's just not a priority right now. Then you've got tasks that are not important, but they are urgent. This is something you'll probably want to delegate or to automate. Maybe something you could do using Notion as an example, if you could find a way to automate a process, uh, or you could maybe have a virtual assistant do it or something like that. And then you have the tasks that are not important and not urgent. So we'll just get rid of them and sometimes we might have to find a way to get rid of them. So it might involve some thinking. I've actually just included a question in that, which is how can I eliminate this? Just to help you start thinking, okay, I've got this thing, it's on my task list. If it's not something I can just delete, at least get you thinking, what can I do in order to actually delete this? So we'll go back to the delegate one real quick. Uh, once you hit the new and then select delegate, you actually have this virtual assistant or outsourcing template that I've put in here. So these ideas are kind of taken from a bunch of different virtual assistant templates and stuff like that. But the idea is that how can you make it as easy and most effective as possible to delegate work to someone else? That includes like writing down the project brief, uh, the timeline, how long do they have to do this task? You might want to embed a Loom video. If you're a Notion user and you do work with clients or you work in a team or anything, I highly recommend getting Loom just because you can actually embed Loom video straight in there. So that is super helpful and saves me literally hours every single week. You might want to write out step-by-step uh, -step instructions instead if you don't want to do a Loom video. 
uh, some resources required so if you have pdfs and stuff like that you can either link them here by selecting that and then hitting link to a dropbox folder or you can just drag them in here if you have notion pro you can upload much larger files uh super recommend it that's what i have i've got a link in the description to signing up to notion pro it won't cost you anything more it's just so they know that i brought you there but highly recommend that then you can actually upload large files um and then any contacts required and then the definition of done which is just a way for them to uh, understand okay i need to do these things in order to consider this task complete and then when they're done they're going to change the status to complete so how do they do that they'll just scroll up and hit the complete and then it will get removed from your view of things to do so how do you actually assign this task well if they're using notion um i recommend you know whoever you're working with to uh, sign up to Notion. It's free, so you know it won't cost them anything. And then all you have to do is tag the person here, and they're going to get an email saying they've been tagged in an item, so that way they know, okay, I've got a task to do. So yeah, that's how the delegate works. So I'll just go back. We've got this view, which is a gallery view, which I've just added some covers to, being do now, uh, designate, delegate, delete. So if we open up the do now one, for example, we can just full screen this here, and then you can see all your do now tasks. So this will probably be uh, longer than two items it kind of just helps when you sit down knowing okay here are the tasks that i have to complete right now these are the important ones and you're not kind of um just going back and forth between random tasks even though they might not actually need to be done or produce any value a lot of this thinking is actually kind of similar to the uh, thinking of cal newport where you're sitting down not trying to just be busy and, and just do stuff throughout the day but actually what do you do that can create the most amount of value like what's the important stuff that i will that will actually move the needle towards where you're trying to go. So, um, you know, all this delete stuff, because we're on this page and we're viewing this with this filter, the filter being uh, where importance is not important and urgency is not urgent, it will actually automatically tag not important and not urgent, which uh, is quite helpful. So let's look at another example and go to designate. So if we open up this page full screen, we have the important not urgent tasks here, and then we have our calendar. So this calendar actually shows all of our tasks. We don't want to filter on this because we want to know when we're creating a task here, if we can actually find a time to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to hit new and then it will automatically have important and ur not urgent uh, added. So then when we write in something that we want to do, subscribe to Notion setups, this will be a task here. So now we need to scroll down and find a time to do it. So I realize here that we have the tasks that are also complete on here. So I'll show you how to change that, which I should have done, but it's actually a good learning opportunity. You'll hit filter, add advanced filter. So again, this is the same database as this one. It's just being viewed as a calendar. So now we're going to want to change to not see the completed tasks because, you know, we'll want to know what stuff do we have coming up that uh, we can actually slot in this task that we want to do. So we're going to change this to complete and where complete is unchecked. Now we can see all the tasks that are unchecked. And then once you tick them off, they'll get removed from this view. Let's say if you want to see tasks uh, from prior that you have completed, what we're going to do is go up here, you're going to right click, and then you're going to duplicate. This view will be uh, duplicated, which includes the filters are being duplicated. So we're going to change this to all tasks, if I can spell. Then we're going to change the filter now to delete filter. We want to show all tasks. That way we can just switch between them. So now when we uh, have this new important but not urgent thing that we have to do like subscribe to this channel what we're going to do is we're going to drag it and we'll look for a time to do it so uh today's pretty busy i'm editing the video how about i'll do it on wednesday so then i can just drag and drop it there and now i have that task on wednesday obviously this will be more filled out with a bunch of tasks for every day i find working this way is really helpful because you're not just randomly doing tasks throughout the day but you're actually thinking about how important is this task and do i have to do it like right now is this an asap task so then in the front of the dashboard here we have this task list as we talked about before where you can see all your uncomplete tasks and then if you tick here you can see your completed tasks um, but I find it's a really helpful way to do it. So instead of going about your day just randomly getting tasks and then randomly doing them whenever you feel like uh, and sometimes doing stuff that you shouldn't even be doing, sometimes doing stuff that you could do in a month's time today but just because it's easy, instead you actually sort that task. 
straight away thinking about, is this something I have to do now? Is this something that I actually have to schedule and maybe do later so I can do this uh, at another time? Is this something that I can delegate to someone else or automate it through using a good system like Notion or Zapier or whatever it is? Or is this something that I can just delete? So this is the Eisenhower dashboard. Again, it's free. You can donate in my Gumroad if you want. You don't have to. And then, uh, yeah, I recommend using Notion Pro if you have it. So you can drag and drop uh, files and stuff that are heavier. Um, and you also have backup for 30 days, which is super helpful. I've once deleted all my financials, which was an accident. Uh, so luckily, because I had Notion Pro, it was backed up. So if you're thinking of getting that, then uh, click the link in the description so Notion knows that I exist. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week.